Hello, people. Uh, <sighs> today, stuff. Yeah. Stuff. Here is an update. Uh. So I have like this choir class, uh, chorus class, uh, you know, you know those classes with, here let me show you, S music classes with risers like that. Teacher stand would be about right here. Now, this was an elective class. I it's, I just make very terrible decisions. Okay, I'll admit that. And today was very annoying. So basically, I sit right here. Okay. idiot and his friend sits right there. And the teacher is sitting right here. Now, my class for chorus is very Okay? Very annoying. Like, whenever they're told to sing, they won't sing. They'll friggin' scream. Like banshees, like hooligans, like annoying people. Okay? They'll scream. That on its own, as you can see, is very freaking annoying. But that combined with the fact that they have no respect for the teachers, just, ugh, they don't do anything he's told. Like, green that class is simply participation. Only participation. And half the class is failing because they don't know how to be a human being. So annoying. And, oh, look, I'm using a free digital app to draw, uh, I promise, I promise when I'm drawing, like on paper, I'm way better at drawing, okay? One of my best drawings is, like, pretty decent. But, as you can see, my Picasso art here is quite good. <laughs> but, today took the cake, okay? My class is already annoying, they yell, they scream, they have no respect. But today, Mr. Idiot here decided to poke me. No. He does this a lot, but I can normally ignore it. Right? His friend's encouraging him. And I like my personal bubble. I'm an introvert. I like my personal space. But he'll invade it. A lot. He just kept on poking and prodding me. Poking and proud and poking and proud and it just wouldn't stop. It just wouldn't stop. Ugh. Wouldn't. And the teacher, he couldn't see it because he was too busy trying to get the class to pay attention and actually get a good grade by freaking participating. Uh, and his friend, they just kept on poking me. And I'm pretty sure they were trading off because I saw, I saw the idiot hand poke me, he'll, he'll deny the fact that I saw his hand, which is kind of funny, but I could see his hand, but sometimes I wouldn't, so I'm pretty sure lots of the times his friend was doing it too, encouraging each other, of course, and so it kind of had this little trade-off thing, where it kept him poking and prodding me, and I tried to ignore it the best I could, okay? I can keep my cool for quite a bit. But eventually just got 
overwhelmingly annoying. Like, imagine annoying but tenfold. That's how bad it was. So after they were doing that a bunch, I decided to lose my goal. And I poked him back, but in a strong in a strong way, it's a special poke, okay? It's a special poke. It's called punching. Yeah, I know, I know, but they were, it was actually starting to hurt. He was actually starting to hit, basically hit me. So I punched him back. Not very hard or anything, just slight tap. I told him to screw off and went back to sing. But he didn't stop. He just wouldn't, okay? This guy is so dumb. So, after quite a bit of c of him encouraging me... <laughs> I told the teacher that he was poking him. I like basically nearly yelled stop and the teacher asked for our stories. The guy was saying he was saying he was saying I told him to kill himself and screw off. Now, I did tell him to screw off, but I didn't tell him to kill himself, and I didn't say anything derogatory about him. But the teacher... The teacher favored me, okay? Because I was, like, one of the only good students in that class. Most of the tenor side was good, too, though. That's the tenors. That's the bass. Most of the tenor side was good. Uh, so... He did... The thinkable. No, he did the very thinkable. He agreed with me. <laughs> he agreed with me. <gasps> Shocker. Because I was a better student. Yeah, I know. I know. Because I was a better student, right? So he agreed with my opinion that I was being poked broad touched. So, I was moved down a row. I was moved down a row. About right there. So, after I was moved down a row, it kind of stopped. But the kid was very mad to himself, you know, blah blah blah, I've been defeated, oh no. <laughs> so, I've been defeated. And I moved down a row. But of course the class screaming like banshees and lost the class. The idiot side of the class took his opinion, of course. So I had to leave the classroom to quaff. Teacher allowed me to do this. I went to go drink get a little drink of water. Quite nice. A little drink of water, a little bit of cooling off later. I came back. And that's about the end of the story. Not really big or anything. anything but Throughout this entire time, they were yelling at me and screaming at me because they're like, well, they're all idiots. Well, not all of them. The tenor, most of the tenor side is good. It's just bass side for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with their self-esteem and their voice being deep and spitballing at this point. So, after my teacher cooled down and was able to teach the class, that wasn't the end of it. Well, it was the end of it for them personally targeting me. After they yelled at me and got that out of their system, I came back through the class and they cooled down a bit. But that's not the end of the story for uh, this class today. So the projector... has this airplay option.
where people can connect to it and put videos on it. I don't know why, but I don't know. I don't know the specifics of it, okay? I didn't really look into it much. But people were just connecting their phones. Some crap like that. And send signals to that. So, while Mr. Gray was desperately trying to get the class back in order and teach them for once, Frame Projector was playing stuff like Clash of Clans or Subway Surfers or some weird game I don't know. Or freaking Geometry Dash. <laughs> and he wouldn't recognize for like a whole minute. Then he turns around and he's like, what the heck? Or he just sees it on his tablet. Like, that's right here. But his tablet is on the thing. Flo floating tablet. It's behind uh, this thing here. It's like resting on it. Uh, and so he saw it and then was able to get off of it or something. But this went on for a while. People just putting random stuff into the projector. It was kind of funny, okay? Chuckle. But I was also annoyed how much they were basically abusing this teacher. This happens a lot in various different ways. Like one time they, they somehow got the projector to not work and the teacher just couldn't do his lesson. And this went on for like half the class period until that person was called, brought out of the class. Don't know what happened to them after that and I didn't know who it was. Uh, let's just put Holly here for aesthetic. So, this went on for a while. Annoying the classroom, anno kind of annoying me, because I don't want to watch people play 15 seconds of Clash of Clans, Jammers Dash, Subway Surfers, or whatever random mobile game they put on there. Um, there. But then it suddenly cut off. If I want to watch gaming content, I want to watch the whole thing. <laughs> so, this went on for quite a while, and it was starting to get progressively more annoying. But then, luckily, the bell rang and we left. But, yeah, that's basically an introduction to this un most annoying classroom of the day. It is basically all the idiot kids in it. All the people that make j that make me dis- Almost all the people that aren't online that make me disappointed to be in, in the Generation Z. <laughs> so, yeah, after that ordeal was over, the rest of the day kind of went normal. I went through classes and stuff. Yeah, it was really annoying. They scream like banshees. I don't respect the teacher. Don't do anything right. So, after that whole other deal was over. Uh, during, I think, science class, my teacher, my, we were on the Chromebook, uh, the compoopers here. Keys. Uh, my friend, who was like a row behind me and a couple seats across, he was kept on sending me these weird videos through Gmail, and I will not go into the specifics of them because some of them were even offensive, but <laughs> it was dumb. It was really dumb. Funny, too, but dumb. Like, he just kept on sending me these random videos, like Mr. Credible memes, Mr. Incredible Uncanny memes, and Mr. C Incredible King Matt. That's a new one. And much more. So, after that whole thing, I went home and had a good day. So, yeah, that was my day today. It was fun. Well, it depends on your definition of fun. <laughs> and I'm failing some classes, but that's not really important. Uh, so, yeah, that's just my day. My interesting day. Uh... After that, also, I'm going to be writing my book, too, so for people who are actually interested in seeing my book when it comes out, uh, be warned, there will be spoilers, because some of this clip is me just writing my book. So, uh, after that whole thing, I went home and had a good day. Yay. And now I'm here. This happened on the same day. Uh, so, yeah. 
many more stuff like this happens so my like for example p people keep on trying to ask me and my body kind of says i don't get into specifics of that because it's just too annoying and gross I, like i'm in freaking middle school no <laughs> stop asking me these questions my peers are so annoying and weird like half the people in the school are like your typical gen z idiots and I'm pro Gen Z, but I try not to be an idiot, or at least try to. My one, my my tch. my one brain cell. Keeps me intact. The one brain cell I'm running on tries to keep me intact the best as possible. He'll fail event he'll fail eventually and he'll have to be replaced by another brain cell, but for now, he's doing good. <laughs> I'm pretty dumb, yeah. I'm a modern I'm a modern smarty. At least smart for Gen Z. <laughs> uh some other updates is that I have no editing software. So you can tell. Nada. That's just because because I haven't found a free one yet, but I will probably get a couple vids in. And gaming content. You're gonna have to wait. If you want that content, which I do plan on doing, I'll still do commentary while I'm playing, but it will be like it will still be like episodes and playthroughs and stuff like that. You'll have to wait until spring or summer break when I actually can play games. It's sad, I know. Uh for now, it's just commentary and random crap. Uh, join our Discord server. <laughs> it's fun. Stuff on it. Give us boosts. Give us money. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can subscribe, or you can not. You can like, or you can not. I honestly don't care. Tell all your friends about me, or not. I don't care. Uh. And do stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, what else is there to say? Not much. Is there? Yeah. Oh, and if I get good grades, or is the, somehow this channel takes off, like, very, very rapidly, and then I start making money, if I get support, then you can actually get game content earlier in summer break. But it depends on what you guys do, you know. Like, subscribe if you want. Stuff like that. And a good day, gentlemen. A da da da. But a dumb.